Zeus, is it feeding time? Is it feeding time? Okay, let's go. from the urban garden and it is now feeding time so let me take a quick little tour and then we'll get on with today's subject of updates since the last time I've done a video. Bits in here and there about my quail. I love them. Can't say enough about them. Eggs are fantastic. Uh, I will also be showing you today how we make pickled eggs because um, we get eight to ten eggs a day. Um, so it works pretty good. I uh, And uh, if I can stop the kids from eating them all. Uh, so stay tuned for that too as well. So today is July 30th. I put these potato plants in July 1st. And uh, I uh, am so happy with this method. They're coming up beautifully. Um, I'm going to actually add another layer of mulch. I already uh, started here. Um, and uh, so I thought I would uh, show you what I'm doing. Um, I am loving this roost out method makes complete sense. Um, my plants are, it's naturally feeding the soil. It's a great uh, holding in the moisture. I have not had to weed once. It was so simple to set up. Um, I am going to be creating uh, another garden bed and this garden bed is about only eight feet by six feet. Uh, I have so much already growing in it. Um, I will show a picture um, as to what it looked like just 30 days ago. Um, so let's get to work. Um, I have to uh, mulch up these potatoes, hopefully encourage uh, more tuber growth. Um, I'm really going to be excited to see uh, what happens uh, in about another 30 days if I have a good harvest. <laughs>
gonna go start that garden. And I have my sister. My sister. Sister? <laughs> Think about what you've been saying. I have my daughter along with me. <laughs> We're just trying to go around the duck pond. Um, and uh, she's gonna be my videographer while I show you how I start uh, the rooster garden. So I know it says no dig, but this is really not digging at all. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dead area of grass and I am going to aerate it. Um, so I'm just going to put this pitchfork in and just lightly lift and then that's it. And then I'm going to do that about every, I don't know, about foot or so um, till I reach the end. And all I'm doing right now is just loosening it up. I'm not disturbing the soil health. Um, it's all still right below, but I'm just gonna put a little layer inside and then I'll show you the uh, next layer. The only problem is, is that when we get busy doing stuff in the garden, we have to always find our ducks. <laughs> So I started to do the pitchfork and then realized I forgot one step and the step is I normally water the ground first. Makes it a lot easier when the ground's not dry to loosen that soil. So I'm going to water it right now. Okay, so I've got my uh, garden hose and water and my water filter. Again, I live in the city so I don't want that green on my ground. Anyway, so um, let's give this area a good watering. Zeus, don't mind the big fluffy dog. What are you barking at? <laughs> what are you barking at? Anyway, so I'm going to give this a good watering and then, then I'm going to aerate the soil. <laughs> Make a salad. <laughs> so I asked my daughter, I asked my daughter if she actually wanted to try it. No, and she doesn't want to, so. You know what, one radish. I'm gonna eat it. Mmm. Oh, Sarah. I mean, it's yummy. I don't like radishes. <laughs> so, who should have the quail egg first of all? Should it be Sarah? I've made these before, they're delicious. Uh, and Sarah's never had one before, she was quite mad. Well, I think I've had mm -hmm. one, I have no idea, but yours is just Once you have one. Oh, they're brown. They're, it's the mm -hmm. balsamic vinegar and the soy sauce. Anyways, once you have one, you can't stop. So, Sarah, try it, come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Like she's two years old again and trying to get her to eat peas. Which, by the way, oh! Whoa. <laughs> mm. Oh, those are delicious. Which, by the way, I can't stop her from eating the peas that I have going in the garden right now. Oh, yeah, yeah they're good. Because mm, they're really good. She eats my them grandma gets right off the plant, so I may not have peas. But, anyways, at least we're enjoying it.
thank you for joining me today at the Urban Garden. Uh, if you like what you saw, make sure you hit the like button. Um, and also, if you would like to see more of everything I have to share in my journey around to learning how to uh, farm in my little urban garden space, I still have lots more I want to share with you. So make sure you hit subscribe and hit click that bell button so you don't miss any notifications of my new videos. So from my little Quillian and me, we'd like to say we'll see you next time. What are you guys doing up here? <laughs> you don't ever come up here. You're outside of your triangle.